Hey guys, it's me again, and welcome back to Donkey Kong 64. I'm in a hurry right now because I have to get through here. Um, well, uh, last time I played the D Donkey Kong arcade machine and sucked really badly. I got to the third level, but then I, I apparently fall, and apparently Jumpman can't fall two feet without dying. What the heck, Mario? I mean, like, that's just, just pathetic. But, um, on my way to this room here, I noticed this, which I hadn't previously opened because I didn't have this move. So now I can open it with the Junkies, Chunky's Magic Punch. What's, what's even in here? Nothing? Oh, okay. Nothing, I guess. Never mind then. Apparently, uh, I'm going the wrong way. Apparently, there's nothing in there. That was not a, a, even a complete waste of time. Whatever, I might end up playing the Donkey Kong arcade game again, I don't know. It was actually kind of fun, but maybe I just prefer 3D platformers, I don't know. It's a thing, I guess, but I'm going to travel with Tiny as usual. She's my favorite character to travel with because of this thing that she likes to do. So, uh, hang on a second. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna head over here and recharge the saxophone that I got. There we go. It goes up to 15 now. Wait, hang on. How many bananas? 50? Okay, let's go in here then. Um, I may be close to the boss. I have no idea. Let's check. Oh! I forgot I unlocked the boss. Well, I guess this is a boss battle episode. Apparently that creepy pig and hippo are gone. Couldn't they have switched places? I have no idea. But, uh, this boss is a ton of fun, even though it's kind of rage-inducing. But, um... Oh, that's right, I have to step on the specific one. And then it raises up, and if you fall, you don't die, actually. Which is very forgiving. I like that. But... Yeah. I was surprised, too, when I saw this boss for the first time. We haven't even technically seen it yet. I mean, this boss... This boss is a doozy. Holy crap. This one is hard. It's interesting, and it's fun, but it's really hard. You'll see what I mean in a second. Yeah. Because of its voice, it, like, it kind of made me... Oh, I went the wrong way. That was bad. That was really, really bad. You can't let him squash you, because if he squashes you, that's a really bad... Oh. Mm. So at the first part, you're just running from him. Uh, I'm not going fast. I'm not going fast. But this is why you need Tiny, because you have to be able to fly like this. <sighs> oh my gosh, is it lagging? If it's lagging, I think I'm gonna, like, rage quit or something. Okay. Ha, ah, here we go. Alright, I have to hit the, white, the one on the white tile. That's the trick to, to this. If you hit- there's two switches available, but you have to hit the one that's the same color as the one he's currently on, or else it'll shock you instead of him! <laughs> Got it! Oh, I got you, punk! Alright, I'm leaving now. You do not want him to catch you. You don't. <gasps> He's so good at catching up to you, though. It sucks. He's in a stupid jack-in-the-box. This is not even fair. Man. You can hear him laughing. He, when I was little, he made me think of Donald Duck just because of that stupid voice he has. But anyway... Enough about old cartoon characters. Uh, I have, to hit the, I have to hit the blue one now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What? It hit, he hit me out of the air! That's not fair! Oh, I have to start this all over again! I forgot, it's not. Eh, it's not as forgiving as I thought it was. Ugh. Ugh, I hate it when he catches you in like a corner or something like that. It sucks. It sucks! But anyway. How about I talk about something good? Something that will put me in a good mood. Um... How about this? Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. I just lost my train of thought. Hang on one second. Oh yeah! My mom is going to get me at Twilight Princess. Oh, all the way over- <clears throat> All the way over here. Okay, fine. All the way in the corner. Okay. Here it is. Quick, get it! Thank you. Okay. <sighs> Uh, if you know, probably by watching my cave story videos, I love Twilight Princess a lot. Okay, 
No, please, no. No, please, no. Please, no, please, no. No, no, please, no. No, 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 please. Please, no. Have mercy on my soul. Oh, no, it's lagging. Well, at least when it lags, he goes slower, too. That's nice. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's right there. Hey, guys. Oh, he's right there. Oh, no, please don't throw fireballs at me. Quick, get him, get him. Yeah, see, now they're not even illuminated. Was that the last one? I think that was the last one. What? No, I thought three times the charm. I thought three times the charm. What? Which way is he going? Which way is he going? I don't know. I'm going this way, though. I have to hurry, though. I have to hurry, though. I have to hurry, though. He's gonna squish me. He's gonna squish me. It's slacking, though. Gives me more time to think, I guess. Mm, run! Mm, run! Oh no! Oh, he's he's gonna squash me. Unless, 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 unless. Oh, he's giving me just barely enough time to get away. Oh, all the way. Mm, thank you for making me go around in a minute. Oh, I forgot about this. I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Oh, I forgot about this. I fell. Ugh. I thought it was three. Okay, fine. Not three times the charm. Uh, which way? Oh, oh no! You know I'll just let him squish me. Just now, though. There. Oh, well, that gave me the moment of invulnerability. It really didn't do anything else, though. Okay, don't crush me! Don't crush me! Have mercy on my soul! I. I'm sorry if that's annoying. But I'm really stressed right now. Mm, mm, mm. I just recently watched Jack Jacksepticeye, and so now I'm in the mood for shouting and screaming. Oh no, you don't! Oh, ooh. right there! It's right there! It's right there! <gasps> oh, I got hit too, but I hit him. I did it! Did I do it? Oh no, now he's invisible! I forgot about this! No, I hate this! Why does he have to be invisible? Why? Is he still have a shadow? He still has sparkles. He sparkles. He doesn't have a shadow. Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm stressed. I'm stressed right now. I get that moment of invulnerability though, so that's really nice. Oh, by the way, my sisters have joined me. Hey guys, what's up? I'm really stressed right now because this is I really hard. If you don't know me, I have two sisters, total, so they're both here. Oh no! Running! Or flying, I guess. Wait, what? Oh, uh, it's blue, isn't it? It's blue, it's totally blue. Oh, it's here! Get it, quick! <sighs> I did it! That had to be the end. Yes! back. I forgot about that. Where do you go, though? I'm not really too sure. But I did it! I got the boss key! Da, 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 da. I'm very sorry. And whatever, who cares? Oh, that was hard. Well, I'm done with Frantic Factory now, I guess. Video over. No, not video over. It's only been 30 seconds. No. 8 minutes. Sorry. I read that wrong. Never mind. 30 seconds. <laughs> That's what I <laughs> Wait, what's this? Oh wait, I remember this. No. Toys. Yeah, toys. Because Fancy Factory is like a an evil toy shop thing place or something. You unlocked all the characters? Yes. You get chunky here. Ugh. I'm not st walking in a straight circle. Uh, a straight, straight circle. circle. A straight line. That's what I meant to say. What's this? Did I hit that already? I don't recall if I hit that already. Whatever, I hit him with a magic punch thingy. And now those will begin to sway do thing or around. Whatever. What's the purpose of that? I'm not really too sure, but go up them. I forgot. I've forgotten about this. Squish me. There we go. Squish you. Whoa, okay. Oh, I keep thinking I have the spinny move. No, I'm not playing as tiny. I'm playing as chunky. Crying out loud. Ugh. It was here, wasn't it? There's a golden banana here at some point, I think. But anyways, I guess I'm done here. I'm gonna move on. I'll probably come back here at some point. I got stuck on that. But for now, I should go... I want to switch to Tiny just because she's the best to travel with. <laughs> anyway, 
I'm gonna head on to Gloomy Galleon. Unless I need more golden bananas, which I likely will. So what's maybe that I will see. What's the point of doing this game? What? What, ha what? Who's the villain? What happened? King K. Rule is the villain. What's he gonna do? Destroy DK Island. Not really too sure why, but I don't know. <laughs> Villains don't really need motivations for stuff. Let's just be real here. So, I forgot where I was going. Where was I going? I think I was leaving. But, uh, I need, going to to that place. I need to check and see if all of these guys have blueprints. So, I'll be right back. Well, apparently Lanky was the only one with a blueprint, so we got one golden banana out of all of that. So let's leave now and see if we can get more golden bananas elsewhere. Because knowing Rareware, they probably hid golden bananas everywhere for you to find. So let's go see about that now, why don't we? Let's we'll go after the poor old place. So, what are we looking at? Oh, that's right. I'm going to use uh, Chunky to do his special... Uh, magic punch. I call it the magic punch because it sparkles and stuff. So... Oh, crap! I used your triangle. Yay. I panicked. He doesn't even have a blueprint. What the frick? That's not even fair, man. Frickin' friggin' frick. I don't even know. I'm just gonna pull this lever over here now. Oh, I, I already have. I forgot. I forget things. I haven't played this game in over a week, okay? I went to a camp place. What was that for? Maybe it's because you were at the camp, too. Well, that didn't do anything! Oh, yeah, I, for I almost forgot this uh, lady who gives you advice in each world. So wait, 68. I believe I need 70 golden bananas to get into Golden Galleon. Or, Gloomy Galleon, not Golden Galleon. I was, I don't know what I was thinking there, but whatever. Um, I'm just gonna head out here, I guess. What I need to go back, that. What I need to do is go back to previous worlds and see if I can unlock new stuff from those places with new characters. See if I can get some more golden bananas. So, uh, where do I go though? How about I go to Angry Aztec? So, well, that was fast. It didn't lag there. So, let's head into here and see what we can see. Okay. Didn't really make too much sense. Whatever. They made perfect sense. Yes, it did. Also, I don't think I've spoken to this lady yet, so I'm just gonna speak to her so oh, you can see what she's a ghost. She Bash the gongs with Diddy's chimpy charge to reveal hidden surprises. Well, that did a whole lot of nothing. I already knew that. It's it's only advice if you like, you know, didn't know didn't know it already, you know. Whatever, I don't even care. Let's just go. And once we're inside, here's some advice. If you play this game, how about you try and walk? <laughs> I can cheat. You better move. Whee! I Did love doing that. <gasps> There's bananas here. Bananas. And a thing for Chunky. So I'm gonna go through the one. I'm gonna get Chunky and then I'll come back. Chunky. Yeah. Chunky is Tiny's cousin. I always thought that they were siblings, but apparently not. They're cousins. However, Tiny is the sister of Dixie Kong from Donkey Kong Country. So that's cool. I guess, yeah. I'm more fond of Tiny, though, just because she was a bigger part of my childhood. I had never heard of Dixie until I saw Did You Know Gaming. I mean, I've never played Donkey Kong Country before. You know? Yeah. So now that I've gotten those five bananas, that was so worth it. I'm going to shoot pineapples. This is a giant pineapple launcher. And I'm gonna head into... Do I... Oh, yes, I remember. I remember where this is. But 
Do I have the move? <gasps> oh my gosh. Ugh, of course. Of course I would do that. Of course I would screw things up in that fashion. Of course. Okay. Ah, that's right. He can... Uh, I'll pick these up and I'll put them where the symbols go, I guess. There. Yes, that was... Ooh, okay. Let's just get you guys out of the way. With my magical triangle thingy. Just... Just... Right now. Let's just... Alright, you're out of the way now. Let's go. Ah, I regained some of my health. So, ugh, I have to be so careful. <laughs> now then, probably even careful. I like yeah. how chunky is like really strong. It looks stuff. like a really big jug. It is a really big jug. What what else would it look like? Uh. Well, yeah, what else would it look like? Here? What else would it? Look? So this seems okay. This seems like a really easy puzzle. But then again, this like the Nintendo 64, like you know, like. Uh, 3D platformers are popular. It exploded! Like, 3D platformers are, they're like popular with children. Oh my gosh, why am I so bad now? Oh. I don't know if I did that too early. Probably, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Let's see if it worked. It did work. Good. You... Why does it explode? What? How, how am I supposed to get that? Seriously? It goes into the quicksand? Can I use my sight? Nope. Apparently not. I guess it would be hard to see something from that angle. Either way, let's... Oh, okay. Be careful. It's hard to be precise with controls like these, though. So, now that we've got that... You know, doing this really simple puzzle, it's making me think of when we played uh, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. You know, because that game has simple puzzles that get... Okay. They just get more complex, like, the further on you go, like, they start to add lasers. It makes me not like lots Professor of enemies. Professor Layton. Well, no, Professor Layton, of course. It like, has really hard puzzles. Well, yeah, of course. It's, the whole thing is just really puzzle, puzzle solving. There's nothing else. But, with these games that are meant for kids, like, I mean, why does no one complain about this game? Sure, it doesn't get too much attention, but it, people don't complain about it so much. But it's pretty much the exact same as Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, except Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric has better graphics, it's multiplayer, and it's it's really cool, and it has Sonic characters in it with, like, really cool redesigns. I mean, what's there not to love? Unless, of course, you're talking about glitches, but, I mean, let's be real here. What game doesn't have glitches? Every game has glitches. There's no question about that. No matter how well you make a game, there will be glitches. Sonic Boom Rise of Lair just happens to have more glitches than the average video game, and I don't see a problem with that. Oh, I forgot about this. I went and got the fairy camera, so now I can do this. And it will make this go away. Give us more coins. Oh, I have a lot of coins. It'll give everyone uh, five coins if they're on color. So now that that's done, I guess I'll just explore around a bit. I have 69 golden bananas now, so I'll go and see if I can get into Gloomy Galleon once I have 70. Oh yeah, and so... we're still here. Don't don't think her sisters aren't here, because we are people too. Yep. Well, I mean, Lauren's no longer in the room, but you're still here. She's going to get Mom's computer. Right, right. So she can play baby. Okay. Play. So you guys have Skittles? I heard them say, do you taste the rainbow? So that's just what you made me think of. Hey, how about in here? What's in here? This is the exact same place. I don't think it is. This is the exact same place I went into before! You do have Skittles. Eric, I want some. Give me some. Give me some of those Skittles, put them in my hands. Thank you. Yeah, I only have I only have one hand on the controller right now, just so you know. <laughs> you do. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna play with a bunch of skittles in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> They're really good, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're all juicy and stuff. I definitely taste the rainbow. I hate those new Skittles commercials, though. They are yeah. stupid. Or it's all like... I never liked Skittles commercials. 
I mean, I've always been really bizarre, but like, I mean... The one with the Skittles pops? That's the worst that I've done so far. It was really stupid. Mm. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Good. Where it's like, hey Johnny, what is what is that all over the face? And he's like, the doctor told me that I have Skittles pox. She's like, are they contagious? He's like, I don't think so. And she eats one and she gets them. That's mm -hmm. pretty much it. Oh yeah, I'm so not like It sucks. Before. I don't like Skittles commercials. I love Skittles. I just hate their commercials. Skittles are my favorite candy. Uh, yeah. Speaking of advertising, do you guys remember at Walmart? And they had like that thing, yes. like with Sonic, and there was a billboard or whatever with a computer, and it says, if it can give Sonic a boost, imagine what it could do for you. That is marketing done right. Yeah. I don't know how they gained the rights to use Sonic the Hedgehog as a marketing campaign, but, oh my gosh, I was tempted to like, like, you know, beg mom to get it for me because I don't have any money, but, you yeah. know. That would be awesome. Just because I love Sonic so much. <laughs> uh. Oh, these are chunky bananas. Huh. Right, I'm gonna go get a change barrel then, I guess. Here we go. <laughs> Seriously, I hate advertisements. But if you have to do them, I like the, the old guy The very ones. least you could do is, is make, make it stupid. fun or entertaining or not stupid. I like the old Geico ones. Yeah. The Geico commercial, I mean, I swear, like everyone at this point knows that you can save 15 15% or more on car insurance. Everyone knows that. There isn't a soul alive probably who doesn't know that. Unless they've never owned a TV and never looked at one. Or they live under a rock or something, which is also <laughs> interesting. I remember, I remember a, a Geico commercial where... There was a Geico a, commercial like that, huh? Where a guy literally lived under a rock. Oh wait, no, I have to keep beating him. Yeah. It's like... Can Geico save you 15% or more on car insurance? What, do you live under a rock? It shows a guy actually lifting a rock from above his head, and he's like, Oh, you could save 15% or more on car insurance! Like, as if even someone who lives under a rock would know that. But, anyway, that's not the point. Oh, I saw Chucky's coins up there. I guess I'll get those at some point. But right now, there's this thing over here for Tiny. Did you know um, that 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance? Yes, of course. Everyone knows that, Billy. Everyone knows that. Everybody knows that, Billy. That's marketing done right. But did you know that... I don't know if we even have... Geico's car insurance, but the commercials have always stuck. We don't. Camera's not even following her. Okay, wait. Where am I even supposed to go with this? Hang on, let me figure out where I'm even going, and then we can, like, And then you can move on. Yeah. I could have sworn there was, like, a, an instrument pad here where you played your instrument as tiny. You know, being as tiny as she is. Oh, I wish you could do the wall jump! That would make getting up here so easy. Nope, not in this game. So Chunky to try can play an instrument way. whatever, but when you're as tiny, you can only play it on an instrument pad. No, I'm just saying it will activate something. Oh, okay. Like, if, you, if you're standing on an instrument pad and you play your instrument, it will do something, like a switch. Like, if you play your instrument whatever you want, the only thing it will do is destroy enemies nearby, which is still really awesome and overpowered. Like, more... More games need to have that kind of feature. Yeah. And it's only a little overpowered. I mean, it's not like you're breaking the physics of the game. You know? Yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing. Hang on one second. I'm just gonna see if I can figure this out. And if I can't figure this out, then I'll leave. Oh, but there's a golden banana up there. <sighs> why would you need to be tiny, though? Why would you need to... Well, I mean, why would you need to be small? <laughs> Not as in like the character time, but same thing. You know, it's maybe there was a question his name that goes up the building. I, I doubt it. I don't remember it being. Oh, oh, that scared me for like a split second. It's just one of these stupid things that have watermelons inside them. If you're playing games, you should pay attention to those. You know, I killed him. Why does he respond? <laughs> because everyone hates spawn killers. You know, people who kill you right at spawn point. It's really yeah. annoying and it sucks. 
I just did it to a, an NPC enemy guy. So, wait, what's that? Okay. Oiki doiki. I mean, you know what that is. Let's see. Can I open this? Oh. That's a bird. Some kind of vulture guy. What is that? That's totally a bird. What? What's it doing in there? What the heck? I have no idea what that is, and I don't know how to open that thing. So... I just went like 30 seconds without breathing, but the whole time I was drinking water. Oh wait, 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 I just remembered. Water. There's a thing for Chunky Kong in Jungle Japes that I forgot about, and I should go get that. And it's there's also something for Tiny, but I couldn't get it before because I didn't have the freaking change barrel thingies. You know, the ones that make them bigger or smaller. So, uh... Dang it, I have to go back. Um... I'll be right back. Oh, I got the rope. Oh, uh... I really hope that came out on the film. What? Get it? Where's the blacksmith? Oh. What happened? Nothing. You dropped a skittle, didn't you? Yes. You're horrible! I know. Okay, I'm here. You're gonna be any more skittles. Huh? <laughs> if you don't understand, just play that back or something. Anyway, this is the thing I was talking about. <laughs> well, I hit the freaking attack button. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Screw it. I don't even care. Hmm. What is this? So what I do? Just throw it. Cause who cares? And then do this. There you go. So, have everyone here. We can do this thing. Also, it's kind of hard. It's all about being patient, though. See how these fire thingies come up? What you have to do is just be careful and only walk when there's light. It's pretty simple. You don't have to shoot the bat's eyes. That's a bat. I couldn't tell before. That's what I was It's like a vampire bat or something. Oh great, that was close enough. I'm just afraid maybe it wouldn't be close enough. Oh, I can't aim with this thing. There. And good job. Perfect. Got it. Alright. What's even in here, though? I forgot. I think there's at least one blueprint guy, though. Get on the rope! Na 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 There is nothing over here. Cool. I love nothing. <gasps> Grab him. Oh yeah! Suck on that, loser! He didn't have a blueprint. <laughs> That's Bologna. How did he Why not did have, a blueprint? have a blueprint today? I have no idea. It's because me and Lauren are around. <laughs> nope. Get. Get off the. Get off it. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> Is there nothing else in here? Is there seriously nothing else in here? Whatever. What was even in there? Nothing. Literally nothing. I remember there being something, but I guess not. Mm. That makes me angry. I do not like wasting time. It sucks. Either way, that wasn't a complete waste of time, because there is still stuff here for Chunky. And Tiny also, because, you know. They're both awesome. One of them can grow in size, one of them can shrink. It's early, good. Chunky can get early What do you What do you think he's named Chunky for? Isn't he cousins with Tiny? Yeah. I just said that, yeah. How is that even possible? I mean, it's, how is it even possible? A huge Chunky guy is cousins with this tiny little, tiny little girl. girl. How is Lexi related to Dad? Think about that when you eat your cereal in the morning. Yeah, you heard me, right? <laughs> That's a reference to Peanut Butter Gamer. He said that in his Wind Waker collection series. You should go watch it. Yeah, it's really good. Check out his channel, he's funny. I'm not trying to promote him, but if you have a spare moment, you probably check him out. He's really funny. Holy big I can climb these trees as Big Chunky. <laughs> I love doing that. 
Mother, big. I'm so big. Mm, I'm so big. What was the point of that? I don't know. Where's the change barrel though? I need to change it. I need to switch to tiny. And then I be tiny and I go into the little dungeon thingy. That Wait, she can has. you go through that log? Yes. Um. That is awesome. Let's get in here. It's kind of dangerous when you're small though. I think you take more damage when you're little. I don't remember that. These are all over Fungi Forest, though. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get. Get on the thing. You're wasting gold crystal coconuts. I mean. Ah, there we go. Forgot to do that for a second. Oh, are you kidding me? I was. You know what? I don't even care. I'm just gonna do that later. Who right now? The reason I really came here was for this. This thing over here. I'm gonna get some more crystal coconuts. This thing is like a little mini dungeon for Tiny, specifically. And everything everything inside it is either really big or you stay small and I'm leaning toward the ladder. <laughs> you know. But anyways. I mean, first of all, look how big the door is like this when you go in. And now look how big it is when you come in. Like that. I mean, you know. And everything is really big. Everything. All the enemies and everything. Well, that'd be it's like, but the it's flowers like... are also big. They're pretty. Well, they're not really flowers. They're more like buds. That's a flower, though. Whatever. Alright. Two, one. Alright, so this I was looking at a flower gate, I when I said it, okay? Alright, well, there are flowers kind of like around on the ground, though. Let's see if I can kill them without the instrument. Do you nope. have to be big to use the instrument? No. I'm just challenging myself. Is there a problem with that? Oh, I can't hit him! Got him. You hit him. Here we go. <sighs> Why does she have the second ground pound thing? Did I get that at some point and not realize? Here. Yeah, that's the that's the second phase of the ground pound thing. You know, the blue phase. Right before the red phase and stuff. You know. You'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, there's two now. Means there's more stuff to hit, right? Come on. There we go. Thank you, you got very the much. On first try. Yep. That's pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. You forgot to grab one of the bombs and it's really annoying. Oh, it'll disappear. Ugh. See? Ugh. It's not here anymore. Ugh. Everything's really big, though. So, now we have to go through the three gates. After this, I believe we can head on to Gloomy Galleon. Oh, I've been recording for a long time. I should stop after this. I forget about stuff like that when I'm, you know, deep in a recording. I f oh, yeah, I forgot. Are you going to split it up into parts? I don't think so. You They're should. split up into parts anyway. Yeah. Okay, you know what? There. I don't even care anymore. Just do it. There. It didn't lag even. So, you know. No, I'm saying like different episodes. Why is there film here? You mean like episode 8, part 1, episode 8, part 2? No, like episode I hit the wrong button! I just wasted one. <laughs> Fine, you know what? I don't care. There, that's what I meant to do. I just accidentally, my finger twitched and I did the wrong thing. What's that? Oh, that's just the way out. Is there nothing here? I could have. Mm. Why is there freaking. I'll see you in the next part! Oh, this is frustrating!